In this screencast, we will solve Coulomb's Law using a scientific or graphing calculator to handle the scientific notation. On these calculators, you use the EE key or the EXP key to tell the computer, tell the calculator you want to have the number in scientific notation. So if we have a number like 9, times 10 to the 9th, we can enter that in the calculator in scientific notation by typing in 9 and then either the EE key or the EXP key, whichever your calculator has. And then you type in the exponent, in this case that's a 9. On your calculator screen, <clears throat> you will see 9E9, which means exactly the same thing as 9 times 10 to the 9th. To enter a number with a negative exponent, uh, we have to follow a slightly different procedure. If we want to enter in 3 times 10 to the minus 6th, <clears throat> we would enter in the 3 and then either the EE key or the EXP key whichever your calculator has, and then you need to hit the change sign key on many calculators, that's a negative sign in parentheses, and then the 6. On your calculator screen you would see 3 e minus 6. And 3 e minus 6 on the calculator screen means the same as 3 times 10 to the minus 6 if you write it out by hand. Now we want to uh, solve a Coulomb's Law problem. In Coulomb's Law, the constant is 9 times 10 to the 9th Newton meter squared per Coulomb squared. Let's let our first charge, Q1, be 3 times 10 to the minus 6th Coulombs. We'll let our second charge, Q2, be 4 times 10 to the minus 6th coulombs. And the distance between the two charges, r, will let be half a meter. Coulomb's Law is the force between the two charges is the constant times the first charge, Q1, times the second charge, Q2, over the distance between the charges squared. For our problem, if we plug in the numbers, we'll get the force is the constant 9 times 10 to the 9th 
Newton meter squared per coulomb squared times Q1, which is 3, times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs times Q2, which is 4, times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs, and that's all divided by the square of the distance between the charges, and so that would be 0.5 meters the quantity squared. <clears throat> now to enter that in your calculator, you would type in 9, and then the EE key or the EXP key, whichever your calculator has, and then the exponent 9, and then we want to multiply by 3 EE or EXP the change sign key, and the 6. And then multiply by 4 EE or EXP and then the change sign key, and the 6. And then we divide by 0.5. You can enter that as 0 0.5 or simply 0.5. And then that's squared, so you can hit the squared key on many calculators. That is a key marked x squared. And then you want to tell the calculator that you're finished with the calculation. On many calculators, that's hitting the Enter key. On some calculators, that's an equal sign. Or on a few calculators, it's some other symbol. When you do all that, <coughs> your calculator should give you the result, which is 0 0.43 2, then we have to include the units going up to the original problem, the coulombs cancel, the meters cancel, and we're just left with newtons. Newtons is the appropriate unit for force, and so we're done. The answer is 0 0.432 newtons.